climbing up the tree real <laughs> I'm gonna turn the camera a second to get somebody's imitation of a of a chameleon. What's he doing his tail like that for? It probably hurts. All right, uh, this here is a pet store chameleon. Um, was actually sent home with a client. Um, and then actually came back because it had this miraculous, we don't know how it happened, puncture wound in the side, which I guarantee you was not caused at the pet store. Um, anyway, on the opposite side of this guy, we actually have two other small p wounds, one right there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can see both of them right there. All right, there you go. And, uh, and on this side. It's a big one. So anyway, we weren't really sure what was coming out of here. We've actually had this thing soaking in, uh. Soaking in chlorhexidine for the last 20 minutes. Pocket 20 minute video of my back. My whole conversation of my nasty nails. That's <laughs> true, that is in there, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here is our little flap neck. Uh, <laughs> turns out we've actually got the suture in there. You can probably see it right there very easily. I think this guy was bitten by some small carnivorous mammal and taken around in a chicken, chicken, something like that. And uh, <laughs> it's, 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 it's shaking violently. It's shaking baby lizard syndrome. And uh, caused that hole. His lung was popping out of that hole, which is the first time I've ever seen that in 20 years. So now he has a suture and holding all that together. You guys will start him on the antibiotics as soon as you get back. If you guys usually spritz him for his fluid intake, then that'll be fine, okay? Um, if he drinks out of water bowl, use the same stuff for that. If you guys need some more, let me know. We'll make sure you have some, okay? okay. All right, next troubled patient. Not bad if I do say so myself. Okay, later.